stand up for the Bosch Bros guys, Nick Dribble! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the uh, what's the largest sex organ in the body? The brain. The brain. Because with the brain, we can imagine that which isn't happening anywhere else. And poetry this evening is, mm, I don't know, maybe it's the palate cleanser between each course you're about to receive. And so I'd like to explore four aspects of seduction, because it's not always successful. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes we just wish we were doing something else, and then the <coughs> stranger things happen. This is called I Was a Rich Woman's Plaything. I was a rich woman's plaything, at the click of her fingers I come. When she wanted to get my attention, she'd maneuver me under her thumb. I was willing to join in the action and would dance for amusements and mood. And if given a decent incentive, would trade for excitement quite rude. With a kiss is how she dismissed me, or perhaps more precisely, a peck. With the prospect of something vague later, when I'd healed up the holes in my neck. At the root of our trouble was money, that she had it and I never would. Though I had something else that she wanted, more than wealth is what I understood. <laughs> now, that true story, poetry, does that really happen? This one did. I have a very good friend called Debs who I go walking with. And quite often after a walk, she says, oh, come back and have a coffee. So I do, go back and have a coffee. There's a lovely house in Westgate with her husband. It's all very straight up. And I went in one day, and there were stacks of jigsaw puzzles. And she goes, yeah, yeah, we love jigsaws, and sometimes we have threesomes. Now, <laughs> you're, with me. you're exactly where I was, but it turns out it's a thing in the jigsaw world. You get somebody round with three of you make a jigsaw. At least that's what she tried to convince me. <laughs> so this is called Each to Their Own. My friend enjoys jigsaws and threesomes. Combines them, I'm puzzled to say. Sometimes she starts off in a corner, and when bits are pressed in, hopes they'll stay. Both games have their own special tables, likes both hard, for a while at least. She begins with her favourite, edging, and a sky when her friend skies a piece. Doesn't help when the pieces are half cut, <coughs> like the couple she met in the pub. Can I find what I need, she will wonder. Is there any point? There's the rub. Won't be judged by the jealous or pervy, or the haters who don't get her thing. But in threesomes like bad paintings of Big Ben, there's often a piece that's missing. <laughs> Does anybody know the 1970s? Yes. yes. Right, you may get some of these references, um, but then again you may not. Um, this is called Love Poem. Can you believe there was a time when Kiki D wore dungarees and Elton John had hair? You couldn't if you tried. So don't misunderstand me, you'll have the hottest ever summer dream. Save your kisses for me and God save the Queen. We were at war with Iceland, body shop opened its doors. I wasn't there when St. James died and I didn't buy a ticket on the first Concorde. South End Pier burnt down shore into City 125. The National Theatre opened its doors and I was still a year and a half away from my first shack. <laughs> <laughs> Love, seduction, sometimes poetry, much better if it's a quick one. <laughs> Accordingly, I'd like to finish this warm-up section with this, which occurred to me today. Strange enough, I'm on a walk with Debs. 
He really was the dimmest, the closest that he came to sexual discovery was riding on a plane because he wanted to experience alienness. Thank you very much. <laughs> If I should fail to please or need, <coughs> you shall not die, nor will I. We do not heal weeping wounds, we grow strong hearts, dark red. Let's wish on cliches, stars and moon, and find ourselves in bed. <laughs> Sometimes internal rhymes and strings are wings that lift my heart and catch my breath, leave me undressed to dream of little death. And yet my eyes are wet with damp emotion. The oceans call, boy, come back, or over here, another place, new home. A song of destiny, the frigid sea that warms for me, she pounds the sound eternally. Once again, you see, same old song, but in a new key. <laughs> Ever um, spent far too long in the early days of a relationship wondering whether this one is the one and realizing it's not, but sticking with it just yeah. in case you're wrong? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was going to say how many times, but I don't think I need to. Um, <laughs> love at first sight, confused with lust, or worse, mistook for one we lost or overlooked. Pupils dilate, be still my heart, my destiny arrived, cherub cupid's dart on us decided. The twist of hair, acute incline, the mimicry of manners, stimulates the monetized minds of hobby wedding planners. It must be smell or chemistry that binds us in love's matrix. If it is electricity, well, that would make it physics. There is no art, not much to see in fate, sheer luck, or miracle. Perhaps it's just biology, and we are all plain gullible. <laughs> a proper sonnet. For those of you who remember school, well, remember school at all, but anybody who studied uh, Shakespeare may recognise the form. I can see more eyes glazing than in a window fashion. <laughs> this unimaginatively is called sonnet number one. <laughs> I do love you. I do not have more words. We are as one when in a quiet moment that reaches into where I'm less absurd. I do not know how to be more potent. In touch, return to when we first it knew there was no one who meant more in the world than me to them, now I to you, all true. Wrapped in arms we stood, stand, curled tight, secure. Same as the child naive, I'm innocent. 
They loved your bones and flesh and hair and breath. Now float and spin. We are not limerent. The state is ours until its day of death. You are in my heart. I am in pulse deep. Forever swear our bond until dark sleep. 